Simulation is a tool that the testers are using to be able to wring out the aircraft's capabilities before they turn it over to the fleet. They're able to look at a concept, a model, if you will, of the, uh, the aircraft and run it through a bunch of pre-tests, a lot of uh, checks and balances and runs here in the simulator to make sure all the design is progressing properly. Uh, F-35 probably more than any other aircraft to, to date will be relying heavily upon, much more heavily upon simulators. That's important from a, a safety perspective, that's important from a cost perspective, uh, and uh, the fleet will certainly utilize that capability that we're developing here. The simulation as delivered can model the A, B, and C variants. It can do shipboard environment, it can do cap launches, arrestments on land or at boat. Ops. The F-35 simulator is supporting uh, specifically ship suitability work uh, in our preparations to get to the ship. Uh, for the F-35B going to the USS Wasp, we use it as a great training aid to get the test team ready uh, to, to get out for the first events at the Wasp. We, when we go out in, in the aircraft, the, uh, the predictions that the uh, flight test engineers give us that we verify here in the simulator, uh, they're really spot on when we get out there actually in the environment and, and start uh, moving the stick and pushing the rudders. It gives us a lot of confidence when we go out there in the aircraft that it's going to respond the way we, we think it's going to respond. When we were preparing for the first landing on the USS Wasp, the training that we did over here at the Man Flight Simulator gave us a chance to practice. We only had one shot to really do the first landing on the USS Wasp correctly, and so we practiced for that. and. It turned out that our first landing on the WASP was just exactly like we practiced. You have that mental picture when you go in there. Uh, you know you've done all the hard things, the emergency procedures, the crosswind landings, all that kind of stuff. You've done that in the simulator before and you have a lot of confidence that the aircraft's going to take care of you when you're up there and, uh, and actually executing that test. It's modeling and simulation, uh, the fidelity is very important to help with test efficiency, uh, accuracy, and uh, safety. Having the more accurate models here makes it more like real life. It gives us the chance to practice things here and make sure that when we actually get to the real game, we know what we're doing. Well, simulators play major roles in providing safety of flight during flight test and optimizing cost of flight test. What you can sim that you don't have to fly, you've saved a dollar on.